And so many people ask me to show again the tables about what is going now, you know. In fact, from the time of Simcha Stoyer, Shemini Atzeret, and clear indication that this is Gog Magog War. As some rabbi said, lots of indications to it. And clearly, introduction to Messiah. As you know quite well, that darkness can be for the light, and wars, especially those who are great enemies to Israel, try to fight when they feel that the end is coming. Yeah. So let us see now these tables and try to explain to you why that's so significant. First thing it fits with Rabbi Cook, what she said, the Kabbalist said about this war, that it is a very significant time, clearly shows that we are very close to the Messiah. So we try to show this table to understand why they are so significant, and we should relate to it uh, seriously. So the first thing, this is a table which I did and really had a great impact on people who looked at it properly. Why? Because this is a table which exactly relates to the time of Sukkot when the Torah says, look after him, you should take as for Grula, we know the four species, and this four species indicates to wolves, really, with different nations. And this is exactly what is written here. We can should take food, we should ask then we should take the widow. So all this really in the entrance, everything really as according to the Medrash, the idea of this four meaning is really weapons against the enemies. In fact, the Medrash says that the Lutheran is like the sword. So it means that Sukhi is a time like supposed to prepare us for wars. Amazing. And this comes here. And exactly the time when this broke this uh, war broke out was exactly the end of Sukkot when uh, after Sukkot Shmini Atzeret this day which is called Shmini Atzeret Simchas and this is exactly what comes here from this verse of Sukkot that Magog a war with Magog will come out and clearly the verse says here, when you go out to battle on your enemies, which is exactly which is happening now, yeah. And where the enemies, Hamas, which appears here, Hamas, which <laughs> is really working for Iran, Iran. This is a great hater of Israel. And definitely she prepares everything to fight with Israel and Hamas. Definitely are doing everything what Iran says. Then we know that Hamani, Hamani, uh, he is this one like a Haman of today, as other guys tell us. If Jews don't keep to us or God depends upon them, Cool leader Kalahaman, Iramanai, today. So, clear indications that this war that you are now in, right, basically, is Hamas, but behind Hamas is Iran. Then, what we have here also, as TLO, there is a I'm in the 
organization definitely is all behind this and pushing everything to support Hamas. We see clearly, even those who are in Israel also support Hamas. What is very significant and interesting in this table is that once in the Torah, you have Messiah in the year, this year, 5784, 2024, right? And amazing, clearly showing what our best tell us is the war with Gog and Magog is really a, a war which is before the coming of Messiah. And we have Messiah this year. Then we have Moses and Eliza will come together with Messiah. And definitely the war that we have is against Amalek, which comes here also, Amalek. So together this table very much fits with the situation today, a war which work out exactly after support. And according to the Vilna Gaon, the war of Gog and Magog will break out after Sukkot in the morning, exactly what happened. So all this table, which especially have Iran in very small skip, because Iran is the main power behind all these problems that Israel have now from Hamas, from all the terrorists, yellow, everything. I think they might be the smallest skip of Iran, which makes the table very significant. Then we have here another table, in fact, the same table, but more wells. Yeah, the same thing we saw about Sukkot taking the Lula of the Ethrog. And Messiah, Messiah, Tavshin Pei, all these words. But what we have here more interesting is that we have here the verse which telling us about the eighth day of Sukkot, it, mean, it is a Sminia said, after Sukkot, the eighth day is exactly the day from when the war of Magog started. This year, the it is unbelievable, like on the eighth day, which is Simchat Sera, Shemeniat Sera, the war of Magog broke out. Unbelievable, which all fits with the tradition, as we said, that after Sukkot, early morning, war of Magog will start. So we have additional words here, besides the word that will go out to war, but it's written here, clearly that the purpose of this war is to strengthen our keeping of the Torah. The Torah comes here and Shuvah, yeah, and Shuvah returning to the Torah. Then other table also interesting. Because once in the Torah you have the ear of Tavshin Pedaren, the ear that we are now, 5754, is a time that God promised us that you will sit in your land in secure, will be peace. And Messiah, Mashiach will come, but definitely this is a result of repentance keeping the Torah, which is exactly what we saw in the table. Then, in order that people really appreciate this table and realize it's a survey from being coincidence, so I brought here the conditions for a real Bible called a true one. So in this table related to Dr. Alexander Rottenberg, you know, Alexander Rottenberg Emphasize many times that it is important when you have minimal and good meetings of wealth. So he holds that minimal and good meeting and the location is more important than statistics. As in statistics, one can cheat, as Professor McKay is so about to show that Hanukkah is in, 
in war and peace while the poor one looks proper in the world completely he did not try them fully properly. So what is the purpose of quoting the Torah is the study found in the table. So what we have here, Messiah and Magog, right? Messiah and Magog. And Messiah in the year 5784, which we saw just now, is the minimum of the entire Torah. Yes, it is a definitely a very significant one. So in the Torah, we have Messiah this year. Then we have Iran, minimal third in the entire Torah. I mean, the, as I showed you, that the appearance of Iran in such small scale is very, very significant. Right? And then there is another very important condition for a real Bible code is when you have good meetings of wells. So here we are and you will go to war, as you saw, it is in Rahamab is the word Magog, come next to it. On the eighth day at Ceres, is on the eighth day at Ceres, and this exactly in Magog came out sharing the letter man. And of course the most important thing is the placement of the wells in the Torah. So this itself already shows that this table very, very significant as just now we saw.